Hi, in this video I like to compare different versions of my sequencer mod series. That MIDI step sequencer I made in Max MSP for the Jazz Mutant Lemur. This is version 1. You can download for free from the Jazz Mutant user area. And this is version 3 where I charge some money for. Um, on first sight both sequences seem a little bit um, equal because both got 8 tracks and 16 steps and they got that track mute and step mute concept but they're really different um, this here is much more complicated and not complicated it's much more complex it's easy to use but it's much more complex than this one here so I start with some triggers A really simple beat just for demonstration. You can change um, the velocity of the instruments here or you can change the length, just show it on the snare here and you can change the notes here so maybe making um, the bass drum a tom or whatever and here's the octave. The main difference is that on version 1, which you see here, you get track values. You control a value on each track, like volume. So if you want a second bass drum with another uh, velocity, um, you have to choose another track uh, with the same pitch and then maybe add here another bass drum. So, on version 1 you get track values, but now I change to version 3. I choose the track and here you get uh, different functions like that, velocity, and as you see, I just cut the length a little bit, you get now step values, not only for velocity, also for length, for node and for octave. So that enables you to, to use different sounds on a track, maybe yet just two different bass drums on the bass drum track, or this could also be um, a snare drum if you want to. Well, and um, that's the main difference between both sequences, and this gives you really much more, um, yeah, much more possibilities to, to do your tracks. So, the track values here become step values here. And um, the next thing might be um, that you get also here global values, which become track values here. So a global value is, uh, for instance, the timing. This timing is rooted to all of the eight tracks or the play direction. So, now I go here on version 3 and if I go to track I can change the timing for each track. So this is the... I'm now on tra um, track 2. And this could be completely independent on each track. Also the step range So the step range enables you to do polyrhythmic patterns. That now sounds a little bit weird, but it's very nice if you, you work with bass lines. Um, and here you get also the possibility to, to change um, the used steps. Now it uses only these steps, but you do it for the global, for the whole eight tracks. So. The, the global values become track values. The same with the MIDI channel. So I just clear it here out. And now I go to the MIDI channel and change to MIDI channel 4. And um, I also load a pattern. So now I trigger a E piano. Well, here you can change on again a global value and here you can change the MIDI channel for each track. So this is now a 
a bass line and you can combine that and all that is uh, saved within the patterns so if I go here to the pattern section you see you get ten, uh, 10 banks with 10 patterns each with, which means um, you get 100 patterns I just jump to a pattern and you get also um, automatic pattern chain where you can uh, choose up, down, random, uh, fourth bar or each bar or uh, on two bars, whatever. And going back to that one here, you get also patterns, but you get not that automatic pattern chain and you get only 16 patterns. Also, these patterns are saved within the lemur, so each song need a new, um, need a new lemur template, but here the pattern is saved uh, on the max patch. You press a save button and then enter a name and you save the whole set with the whole 100 patterns, all settings and so on. Um, yeah. Something more. Maybe I show where I combined. One more thing to mention is um, the clock. Here you get three different types of clock. You can make it a MIDI master, a MIDI slave or a re uh, rewire slave. So that one um, works even without a door. You can route it directly to your external gear if you want to. While this one here always is a rewire slave. And that rewire clock you need a rewire host to sync to. You can route the note information also to um, external gear. Um, but you always need a rewire host and the rewire clock is not so stable. Actually the MIDI master is more stable clock than uh, the rewire clock. That's funny, I never thought this would be, but it's a fact. Um, this max patch, just to demonstrate, got about 200 uh, kilobytes uh, size. And this max patch got about over two megabyte size, so it's really much more complex. Another thing to show, you can also edit multiple tracks. Um, just to demonstrate, now you change um, the step range of all, and with the pattern you jump back. And one more thing to mention, um, this only claims 37% lemur usage, while this claims 50% lemur usage. Um, this is because I hear reprogrammed everything in max um, and here also some variables are calculated on the lemur. So you get more functions uh, with less lemur usage uh, than on this one here. Um, well, I guess this is uh, all I want to say. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.